Good evening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gather round me, everybody. I'm going to tell you a story about Betty and Dupree. Betty told Dupree she wanted diamond ring. Betty told Dupree she wanted diamond ring. Dupree told Betty, I'd buy you a. Nice, very nice to be back here in Berlin. Thank you for that. I would also like to say we do have a very, very special show for you, as you can see. Okay, so let's get in a frame of mind here. We're going to do an old Chuck Willis song called It's Too Late, She Gone. <laughs> It's too late, she's gone It's too late, my baby's gone Yes, I will miss her more than anyone And it's too late, she's gone It's a week Cries. 
So I guess I better dry my eyes I need your loving more than anyone But it's too late Pick 
that rose and watch her as she grows in my garden. There is a rose in Spanish Harlem. Oh, red rose up in Spanish Harlem. It is a special one. It never seen the sun. It only comes out when the moon is on the running of the stars. It's drawn right through the street, right up through the concrete, soft and sweet and dreamy. There is a rose in Spanish Harlem. Troubling mind, yes, I first heard this from um, Mama. Yeah, I first heard from Mama Yancey, with Papa Yancey playing guitar, uh, piano, sorry. It's a little bigger. Uh, and uh, no, Papa Yancey was a very famous piano player. I don't know where I went, the guitar was on my mind. And uh, she said she heard it from Sippy Wallace, but I just heard it by uh, Dinah Washington this morning, so God knows where this damn song come from. All right, let's do it. We gonna run through one time or what? Yeah, all right.
I'm a woman. Yeah, we wear our sports from uh, the Miracle record, which was a miracle that came out considering I was working with uh, Yeehaw. Uh, yeah, well, he was an English Yeehaw. Mr. Mark Knopfler. Don't mean much these days. He will be remembered for such wonderful hits such as what was that? I want my money? Uh, no, I want my money. No, I want my MTV. <laughs> money for nothing, chicks for free. That's what it was. Money for nothing, shit for free. Yes, okay. Anyway, so uh, it was very, so it's a long story. I could go on there all night with this one. Anyway, uh, it was in a movie, which you might have seen the movie. I don't know. I got a nomination for it, for the Academy Award thing, which. With, a, with, with 25 cents, that'll get you a cup of coffee, you know? Don't mean too much. Okay. Nominee for the Academy Award. Okay, so. <laughs> That's, it. That's gospel stuff. Come, my love. I'll tell you a tale Of a boy and girl And their love story And how he loved her oh so much And all the charms she did possess Now this did happen So once upon a time When things are not so complex and how he worshiped the ground she walked but when he looked in her eyes he became obsessed my love is like a storybook story but it's as real as the feelings I feel my love is like a storybook story But it's as real as the feelings I feel It's as real as the feelings I feel His love was stronger than the power so dark a prince would have within his keeping His spells to weave and steal her heart Within her breast but only sleeping My love is like a storybook story But it's as real as the feelings I feel Storybook story, but it's as real as the feelings I feel. It's as real as the feelings I feel. He said, Don't you know I love you? Oh, it's 
This comes from uh, the record that I did, fortunately. I was living in New Orleans, New Orleans at the time, and uh, I was very fortunate to, uh, yeah. Then I became the mayor, yeah. <laughs> then I wrote all those hit songs for all those guys, yeah. And then I became the governor, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then I called it New Orleans, yeah. And everybody came there and they got very drunk, yeah. And then they invented rock and roll, all because of me, see, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, this is a very sad song, so it's got to be really down. <clears throat> it's entitled Big Blue Diamonds, and it was written by Mr. Uh, uh, Earl King Carson. I did a little. <laughs> I know it's loose, but we can't get that loose. Uh, God damn, I can't remember his first name. Well, it doesn't matter. His last name was Carson. They called it. No, it was, I do believe it was Earl Kit. Carson. So if you want, if you have a very good 45 store where you can go and get these old New Orleans records, I would buy his copy any day. It's spun my head around. It's okay. Let's do it. It's sad. as my father. Yeah.
the thing, I don't know if it says it on the ticket, it says Willie DeVille and then it says Trio, which somebody keeps saying to me, it sounds like it's going to be jazz, like Ramsey Lewis Trio or, or some guy who can't play the horn Trio or something, you know, or George so-and-so Trio, you know. But what we have here is what I call the two dollar whores because there's two of them. And they're really one dollar whores, but because there's two, you have two dollar whores. Means we get, we get more. You get more, yeah, <laughs> okay. Down a little bit. It's all right. a secret I ain't gonna tell I'm gonna go to heaven in a split piece of Yeah. 